con el timbre y en acción los competidores con Robert Sánchez Internacional Amigos de en acción con Robert Sánchez, ¿qué tal? Les hablamos directamente desde la República Dominicana como siempre para llevarle el mejor contenido a nivel nacional e internacional en esta ocasión les voy a presentar una comparación entre el esfuerzo de Epicenter en el Trouble Stakes con la carrera de Flying Line en el Pacific Classic. Son dos ejemplares que se espera que estén presentes en lo que será la Breeders Cup Classic para este año. Así que disfruten de este contenido. And with the huge crowd roaring, they are off in the run happy Traverse Stakes. And Epicenter is up close here. It's Ain't Life Grand down at the rail is Cyberknife. Cyberknife and Ain't Life Grand, they are right together, not far behind is early voting. Epicenter to his inside running in fourth. And Arturius is next in fifth. Then comes the Derby winner, Rich Strike, down at the rail and in sixth. Zandon is alongside in the seventh. And at the back, it's see Flight Line's going to go on with it. Now he's caught a little wide, but Flight Line goes up to join Extra Hope as the pace setters. In behind that, we have Express Train. Country Grammar scrapes the paint in the white, just two lengths separates all those runners. Then comes Stiletto Boy and Royal Shop, impatiently ridden by Mike Smith, content to trail early, five of them. Down the back stretch they go, extra hope at the rail, flight line now right up alongside and pretty keen to go on. Express train as a joint third, country grammar at this stage is four and a half lengths off the favorite. Behind that comes Royal Ship and Stiletto Boy. A half mile to go and flight line doesn't want to wait. Flight line's picked up the running now and he kicks on to lead it by the back. It is Gilded Age, the half mile. 47 and three fifth seconds, three quarters in one, 11 and two. And now they begin the run around the far turn. It is still Cyberknife on top here. It's Cyberknife getting away here to lead by two lengths. Epicenter now picks up the chase. It's Cyberknife and here is Epicenter moving well right alongside. Epicenter on the outside of Cyberknife and there's a quarter of a mile to the finish in the 153rd run happy Travers. Here is Epicenter now to take over the lead. Cyberknife is down at the rail and racing in second. Zandon has now moved into third. They pass the eighth pole. It is episode 20 lengths clear. Flavion Pratt takes a hold and canters in in the TVG Pacific Classic. Second place will go to Country Grammar. Con el timbre. Y en acción los competidores con Robert Sánchez Internacional.